Fill out forms A1, B, and D12. Pay the entry fee. Hey, he's a magician! Who's the head of this shit house? I am. Wojimiusz Konieczny, chairman of the Warsaw anti thaumaturge Society. And you are either extremely insolent or stupid to come here, Tempermancer. My papa liked the word Tempermancer. He was very hopeful it would catch on in Polish. I'd love to see his face right now. Can you get to the point? Let's talk like civilized people. You can't talk to magicians. They're non-human, like the vampires prowling the cemetery. What do you want? I've heard that your contributions, including entry fees, are spent on things besides brochures and banners. Oh, what else then? On helping hands that dig up coffins at Bavonsky Cemetery at night. What? Voldek, let's get out of here. I withdraw my candidacy. Did you come here to ruin me? Then now I'll take a look around. Don't try any tricks. I felt something. Where is it? Hello. Hello. Can I help you? Do you roam cemeteries and fight vampires too? What? No, I'm new here. They've only had me paint some banners for now. I've seen them. I can tell you're talented. It's just doodling. I won't bother you anymore.
Is there anything else you want to ask? I know about your little secret. You don't work here out of passion, do you? Is it necessary to enjoy one's job? You work for someone else, don't you? For the Russians, not the WAS. You must be crazy! I don't snitch to anyone! Leave me alone! I have a document that might compromise Mr. Konechny. Why should I care? Your supervisors will be keenly interested in this evidence, I presume. But I've told you. Just take this letter and do what you deem right with it. I'm sure it will help you get a better assignment than this one. Well, just leave it with me. But I still don't know what you're talking about. What do you want, Tempermancer? I thought the Ochrana would be interested in your activities and sent them some of your compromising materials. They should be especially appreciative of how your organization gets its funding from the socialists. So the Ochrana sent Mieczysława to you. Your snitch is just now strolling over to them, carrying all the evidence. Liar. Do you see her anywhere around here? You will regret this, magician. There won't be a place on Earth that will hide you from the wrath of the righteous. Fine. Just don't send your boys to the cemetery anymore. And send me a postcard from the Citadel. Mr. Shulsky. First of all, the WAS won't mess around here anymore. Did you send them to hell where they belong? I turned the matter over to the secret police. Now the Ochrana will deal with them. Ha! They'll bring them a fate worse than death. That's the way. But now that it's all over, would you be so kind as to make a donation? For the cemetery, of course. And to make sure important notices reach you as quickly in the future. I'll be gracious. Please write a letter to my sister. She'll send you a check. Thank you for looking kindly on an honest man. If you do expire someday, I'll get you the most exquisite hearse. God bless, Mr. Shulsky.
What now, sir? Do you get invaded by the press often? Not a day passes without someone knocking at the door, sniffing around, reopening wounds, looking for a scoop. But each one of them also promises money. We're not wealthy, and after Ludwig's death, we have even less. You could use some money now. Sure, but I really don't know what I could tell the news hounds. That's enough. Can I ask you about Ludwig's belongings? You've looked around by now. An elegant man's coat. Is it Ludwig's? I don't have the heart to sell it. Ludwig liked it so much. Pietja gave it to him. Goodbye. Hello. Mr. Shulsky, hello. Shall I inform the authorities and hospitals, or shall I wait? Your last visit has become somewhat of a legend. This time it'll be quiet, I promise. I'm here to see Pyotr Voronin. Is Master Voronin moving out by any chance? Never mind. Where can I find our pest? Room 213, second floor. You've been there already. So, same thing tonight, gentlemen? You bet. I'll get some cognac. It will help relax the atmosphere. So, same thing tonight, gentlemen? Who's this guy? It's just my cousin. Hello, Victor. Meet Thomas and Franz. Did you miss me? I wanted to see how you've settled in. Take a look around. It gets quite interesting here during my modest parties. Want some champagne? About these parties, I think someone got lost on the balcony recently. It was Papa who sent you, wasn't it? I told him to stay out of this. Tomas, Franz, show my cousin the door.
As you can see, I can be stubborn. Congratulations. Franz and Thomas are tough customers. Well, speak up. I don't have all day. What happened that night, from your point of view? Thanks, cousin. It's hard for me to talk about it. He was my friend. We were having fun. Whiskey, cigars, and other amusements. Ludwig got drunk and went out on the balcony. He yelled something about wanting to get higher, even higher. And then there was a scream and a shriek from down below. I stepped out onto the balcony and Ludwig... He was down there, dead. I went to see the Krajewskis. How are they? They remember how close you two were, how much Ludwig cherished your friendship and your gifts. Really? The Krajewskis remember me? How do you want to end it? Your friend is dead. He was someone's son. Yes, the Krajewskis. I know they're poor, but I can help them with that. They say the press is interested in them. I've heard. I'm not worried about myself, but it may damage Papa's reputation. And it could take a toll on the Krajewskis too. I want to protect them. Money is no object. Hello? Who is it? Did she introduce herself? No, do not let her in under any circumstances. Damn it. You have an unwelcome guest? Mind your own business, cousin. I insist you let me in. I have already told you, madam. Master Voronin is not here. Perhaps I could help you somehow. Let's talk. Please do. Best of luck. Uh, I'd do anything for a short break from those annoying guests of his. I will get to that bastard no matter what. Don't even try to throw me out. Quite the opposite. I can help you. But first, I'd like to know why he didn't want to let you in. 
because he's afraid to look me in the eye. And I'm carrying his child. I see. Pieter should hear the joyful news. <laughs> Please give me a moment. What now, sir? Mr. Krajewski, is there a sum of money that could, at least, to some extent, make up for the loss of Ludwig? No money can undo what happened. But it might solve other problems. I will insist. One more thing. That's enough. You want justice for your son, but your wife is dying. You have no choice. That's why you will take the money I'm offering. I'll accept the money. And you won't tell anyone about it, especially the press. No one. Mr. Shulsky, can I help you? Think about it. This lady can get away with doing a lot more to hotel guests than you ever could. Remember, she will only make life miserable for Pietia. That's true. I hope the young master is happy to see you. That's incredible. 
Thank you. I will go bring that bastard to his senses. Please join me. It will be quite the spectacle. <laughs>